see all of you. <laughs> Um, before we get started, my name is Diane Silverman. I am not the chairman of running this project, but I'm here to welcome you because I'm so happy that we are taking on this issue. It's great. But before we get started, uh, Bruce Kozar, our state legislator, is here and he needs to leave and he wants to say a few words. So let's welcome Bruce Kozar. Yay! Well, I know this is legislation that we're here to talk about today that was passed by the <coughs> Arkansas, state of Arkansas. And with uh, my real regrets, I did vote on this legislation. And it's basically clean up areas inside the city, little pockets that uh, that were in the city, surrounding the city, or pretty well controlled by the city that needed to be, but we never thought that we would take in a 600 acre track. I don't think, I think you could go to the every one of those 89 in the House and 33 in the Senate that voted for this, and they would tell you they never thought it was going to do that. I've got the paperwork that I'll have you sign up on how many pages you'll take, and we'll get this together and get it moving, and we'll get it done. Um, but there, we did find a lot of irritation, a lot of upset people over the fact that, that this time around we were not allowed to vote on it. Taxes and taxes. Uh, there won't be a city tax. We don't have a city tax. We just recently turned down proposal for an adult warm tax and we put it at zero mills so there won't be more taxes. We think it's a safety reason. Um, you're going to be protected by an ISO 2 fire department. You're going to be protected by more city policemen in the area than you are with the county. I think the county runs three cars a night. One might be in Jesseville, one might be in Piercy. Uh, it's going to be hard to cover the area. Uh, you know, the city always has policemen up and down central on the mall. So it's mainly, in my opinion, safety. What gives you the right to have an opinion over my life and my lifestyle when I have the saying now you're citing our safety. I don't get that warm, fuzzy feeling. Not at all. <laughs> Sir, was that a zero tax forever or only until next year? Only until next year. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> next year only until next year, but I, I got one you that I will not vote for a tax. I got one before. I have a question for you. Yes, sir. When you guys quit becoming board members, you became dictators. You're dictating to <coughs> me and all these people here. They look like teenagers, right? You know what they're doing? You're telling us what's better for us? One person or five people? You don't have the right. But the audacity of you to do that really makes me mad. Amen. We got here because they bleed money. They need money. And do not believe my director, Rick Ramey, who just left, when he says there won't be a property tax. The only single reason for this is to take in the valuable properties along the way and in other enclaves. There are seven enclaves identified, and I've been told possibly 11 that the city has looked at. Now, they cannot take care of what they have. They did. 
Hi, I'm Justice Mary Bourneville, uh, Justice of the Peace District 4 in Garland County, and I attended this meeting this afternoon, and I'm, I find it absolutely amazing when it comes to annexation. For a person to voluntarily annex into the city, it takes 50% plus one of the, of the uh, property owners who are, who are affected to be able to apply to come in um, voluntarily. However, for a forced involuntary annexation, it only takes the vote of four of the city directors who don't even represent them and don't live in the area that is being annexed. Now, what's even more injurious is that in order for that, those people who have been forced into the city, the, um, the uh, process to reverse that, they are not yet officially members of the city and they can't sign the petition. So again, their fate is based on the goodwill of the citizens who think that they've been harmed. But the people themselves can't do anything about it. And I find that to be absolutely incredulous. I am out here today because people ought to always be able to vote about things that affect them. Simple as that. And uh, I was the only one in the Senate. Uh, I'm not criticizing anybody. Uh, obviously, it uh, cruised through with 33 to 1. Uh, and it made a lot of sense that if you had an area that was away from the rest of the county that serviced it and surrounded by three sides, but you ought to let those people vote. And uh, that's what I thought then, that's what I think now. And, uh, and if there's any areas that uh, are not surrounded by three sides, then I think there's a real question. Uh, if the city's not surrounded by three sides, there's a real question about whether that's what the law says or not. Uh, it's got to be surrounded by three sides. But I, being a country boy all my life, I sympathize with people uh, who aren't going to be able to, to burn or hunt or uh, whatever. A lot of things to be considered.